Hi, hi, hi. So I'll kick things off. I'm Kat. I'm the co-director of Swing Sister Swing. And I started dancing at Newcastle University in 2005 at a swing dance class that I could hear from my bedroom window. That's why I'm here today. Okay, next. Nancy. I'll go next. So my name's Nancy. I'm Canadian. I've been living in London for eight years and I am the co-artistic director of Swing Sister Swing uh, and a performer who works in a number of different forms. And my first, uh, the reason why I love uh, and when I started swing dancing was actually that I was the third wheel on a date. So that's how I started swing dancing. And I'm going to pass it on over to Ray. Hi, uh, I'm Rebecca or Ray. Um, I'm based in Sheffield uh, and the reason I'm based in Sheffield is because I started swing dancing here uh, six years ago, seven years ago and never left <laughs> and I'm still in weird like in part weirdly part of my university society and I teach there. I'm going to pass it over to Katie. Hey I'm Katie, I live in London, um, I also live above a nursery so if you hear screaming that's what it is, I am not torturing anyone. Um, I started dancing in 2011 and I'm also a musician and I'll pass to you Colbert. Hello I'm Colbert, um, I'm one of the cast members in Swing Sister Swing. Uh, I started dancing in 2015 uh, but I've been basically doing the Charleston in my living room since I was a little kid so was kind of always destined to be. <laughs> and I'll uh, pass off to, yeah. <laughs> hi, uh, my name's Alicia. I'm a dancer and an actress. I started swing dancing about five years ago because I wanted to find a new group of friends and like a little family. And that is also the reason I love it and why I've stayed. And I'll pass it on to Lana. Hi everyone, I'm Lana. I'm going to be playing Jodie today and I have been swing dancing for 15 years um, I got introduced to it first on a TV show um, on live on BBC and fell in love with it and then it's just become my specialty in my life and I'm really looking forward to working with all of these guys. Thank you. And shall I pass to Joe? Hi, I'm Joe. I am um, I'm an actor and a musician, and on this project, I'm sort of a collaborator in terms of direction, sort of make helping helping put things together in a theatrical way. And uh, I'm importantly not a dancer, but what I love about swing dance is the energy that you get when you're in the room of a swing dance performance, which sadly is never really replicated on video. So everything you see today in terms of dancing it's a hundred times more in the room. <laughs> and maybe uh, can we ask Annette, would you go next? Certainly, yes, uh, I'm Annette, I'm based in London. Uh, I'm a tap dancer, but I'm not tap dancing today. <laughs> today, um, I'm also a musician, but today I'm going to be uh, taking care of the videos over Zoom. So I'm a bit of a, of a techie in that way. <laughs> wonderful, and we're also joined down below who still uh, who has his camera on by the wonderful Tom Nettleship and Daisy Cool, who I know will be joining us shortly, who are wonderful composers, 222. Uh, very nice to have you on video. Uh, and uh, uh, we're uh, started swing dancing actually with me in classes in Camden not that long ago. Hey everyone. Yeah, um, uh, Nancy welcomed us into the world of swing dancing. It was about three years ago, I think. Uh, Daisy is right next to me, just to my left, but she's currently um, she's currently on a meeting at the moment uh, with the Camden Music Hub. Um, we'll be uh, writing and arranging for this project. And I think that the best thing about working on something like this is working with all of you lovely people and some of the people, some of you people who we haven't even had a chance to work with yet, kind of enthusiastic about that too. But yeah, getting the band back together. Thank you everyone. So that is us. So we will be starting our sharing in just a minute. Um, but I would like to start with a provocation. Um, and my first question is think of swing dancers. Think of them 
who or what do you imagine if I say Charleston or Lindy Hop or swing dance or partner dance who do you imagine I think in the UK most people see a white lady in a poofy tea dress dancing with a man in a World War II army uniform eating tiny cakes with little cups of tea probably with an all-male big band all in jackets or maybe with Charleston you imagine very thin ladies in heels in sparkly flapper dresses with dashing men in tuxedo jackets and now look at us what do you see? Well, you see swing dancers. And what's really important to us is that this show isn't a nostalgic throwback. Um, and was conceived in 2017 around the idea that constraints placed upon us as dancers by cisgendered heter heteronormative expectations were creating a lot of barriers for us. And ultimately, Nancy and I were going to gigs together to perform and to teach and were being asked repeatedly, where are the men? So, based on this, uh, the sh show that we're working on right now, we started in Rich Mix in 2019. We created it and performed it in 14 days, <laughs> um, which was incredible. Um, and in the last two months, the Liverpool Everyman and Playhouse have supported us with some dramaturgical help with five days with Emily Abood. And what you're going to see today is the result of that process as we explore character development, relationships, story structure and dramatic style. We really hope you enjoy it. And I'm going to hand us over for our first clip and to get everything going. Thanks. <laughs> And now, here for your pleasure, such dazzling dancers, such glamorous gals, it's Swing Sister Swing! Hi, I'm Rebecca, and I'm going to guide us through the sharing. The flow of this show is non-realist interspersed with the dramatic action on stage. Short vignette pieces of spoken word offer some context for the audience on the world of swing dance. For this sharing, the dancing will be beamed in via video from a work in progress performance in Rich Mix in 2019, as it's pretty hard to partner dance on Zoom. Not impossible, but hard. Jazz music and dance. Pattern Juba, Charleston, Breakaway and more. Clubs and ballrooms bustling. Partner dance solo, moving to the world's most inspired rhythms. Like a heartbeat, it swings. One, two, three, and four. Lindenberg hops over the Atlantic. Wartime celebrated, transplanted abroad. Loved with its beloved dancers of vaudeville, ballroom, and Hollywood fame. Johnson, Ricker, Reichel, and Harris. Kept alive by the greats, Mama Lou Parks, Norma Miller, Don Hampton, all amplified by a neo-swing revival. What is the Lindy Hop? It is a partnered expression of a feeling, a dance created by black people in America in response to jazz and to freedom. You can't top the Lindy Hop. It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. In this scene, the five member troupe is setting up for an audition for their sixth member. Violet is handing out clipboard with auditionee names listed on them. I think these are a bit intimidating. It shows we mean business. I'll be adding an extra column for good chat at the registration desk. What a great idea. Remember all those times that good chat has won a swing dance contest? It's important. Defo? God, do you remember that girl the other year? Oh, Susan. Susan. <laughs> I never heard anyone talk so much about Scrabble. 
You play Scrabble. You don't talk about Scrabble. But what few people know about Scrabble is... Deej, can we get organised here, please? Deej, size and move some stuff around. Who's coming today? Anyone we know? Well, there's a few names I recognise from contests around London. Oh, my God. We rejected some of these last year, you know. Awkward. What's worse, though? Terrible dancer or obsessed with Scrabble? <laughs> Oh, I think they've placed a few times in solo stuff. And they're a great Lindy Hopper. I've never seen them lead, though. Oh, God, not her. She's beaten me a few times and stuff, but she's super annoying. And everyone says she's a nightmare. No chat. We hate no chat, right? What is it worth, though? No chat or obsessed with Scrabble. Daphne, are you good with the solo section? Yeah. Jolene and Violet, you jump on the registration for early arrivals. Deej, I'll lead for this, you follow. At this point, Charlie addresses the audience as the auditionee. Lana, played by Josie. Jody is planted in the audience. Hi everyone, uh, thanks so much for coming today. It's great to see so many of you. I'm Charlie and this is Deej and we're running this thing today. Um, you'll see Violet, Daphne and Jolene dotted around to support as well. Uh, we want you to have a really fun day and we're looking for one new dancer. Uh, we want them to slot into our big Lindy Hop routine for the Savoy Cup contest in Montpellier, France. So let's just warm up and shake off the nerves. Thanks. And yet we're really lucky to work with live musicians headed up by the amazing Annette and on bass and horns and drums. Could you give us a quick blast of that Mary Lou Williams too? Yeah, that's swinging like a gate. I love it. Okay, now let's see your groove. Show us what you hear. Yeah, everyone, don't be shy. Charlie gets the audience to bop. There's a short audience participation section. All right, everyone, let's clap. Yeah, nice. Okay. Okay, I've got an idea. Maybe let's improvise. Let's kind of go on an exploration. Let's do a few different ideas. Okay, that's great, everyone. Um, but time's tight, so let's wrap this section up. Deej can get carried away sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I can get carried away with having a great time. Uh, sure, so what we're looking for is an excellent Lindy Hopper who identifies as a woman or non-binary person who are outstanding in both lead and follow roles and with exceptional skill in African-American vernacular jazz in Charleston. Let's start with jazz. Daphne's gonna kick this off by showing you a little sequence. Daphne dances the sequence facing the back with the audience as the auditionees. Daphne is miming the counting and try it again, showing some sections slowly. The others have clipboards and are stalking about the stage, scrutinizing the audience and whispering to each other. Charlie, did you really have to cut me off from that kind of cool clapping exercise? It was as good a way as any to see how musical they are. If we want this troupe to be good, we actually have to test them, Deej. I thought we were looking for a person who will gel with us, not a dance bot. Have you seen them? They're good. I'd spotted her too. She was super friendly at the welcome desk. Great chat. Great chat. <laughs> Hi. You in the back. Jody is it? Uh, could you do that rhythm on your own? Jody dances and scats the rhythm. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for your hard work so far. We'd like to take some smaller groups for the Lindy section. If you maybe want to all hang out in the cafe for a while and we'll call you through. Thanks. Let's start with you, Jody. In this section, Jody dances some Lindy Hop with each of the troupe, and they also have a short aside conversation about her. The exchanges will only be a sentence or two. The actors will rotate through a downstage centre spotlight. They all dance throughout, underscored by the house band. The scene is accompanied by this spoken vignette. Our dance is a partner dance. It's 2021. Anyone can dance any role. But if you want to dance like the old movies, the man is the lead, the woman is the follow. In class, 
Leads, you're gonna to want to put your weight in your left foot as you bring your arm up and change hands. Follows, you know, just follow. The lead sets the direction and the momentum and the follow enjoys the journey. Choose the direct route or the scenic one, fast and straight or twisty turny. He's already set the direct the destination, just follow. In a performance, leads, please wear the trousers. Follows, wear something swishy, it's visually cleaner. Just follow. On the social floor, he shows his prowess through move after move after move. He shows off his follow by moving her, moving her, moving her. Call and response, give and take, dancer and danced. Just follow, just follow. A lighting change of state shows some time has passed in the audition process. Visible tiredness from the dancers. Charlie addresses the audience. It's been a great day. We'll be in touch with everyone tomorrow. Thanks so much for coming. Jody heads back into the audience to collect her things. The remaining troop huddle up to discuss. Deej collects the clipboards. Jody, right? Easy. We need to count the votes. That's what the clipboards are for. Deej reads the clipboards as she passes them one by one to Daphne. Jody? 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 And Jody. Jody, it is. Run after her. Let's just get her in now. Violet runs after Jody, who has gone back to get her bag from the audience. You were so good. It was amazing. I loved what you did. You put such amazing style. Time passes. The following scene is at the start of the first rehearsal for Jody. Violet has met her for coffee, and they're walking in together holding coffee cups. The dance studio is down a winding alley in North London and is more expensive than they can usually afford. Before we go in, can I tell you a secret? Uh, I'm terrible at keeping secrets, but yeah, go on then. You were everyone's favourite, literally head and shoulders above the rest. Good, good job they're looking for an extra member, otherwise I think I'd be hanging up my dance shoes. Oh, don't. You're too sweet. Even Charlie couldn't fault it, and believe me, that's saying something. Right, shall we? Yeah, sorry, Violet, just a quick one before we do the big tour and everything. Um, I just wanted to say thank you. To you. Me? Yeah, to you. Oh, you gave me such confidence in the audition. The way you looked over at me, beaming smile, big thumbs up, you know. <laughs> it might sound silly, but it really did make a huge difference. How I performed and uh, yeah, I was so nervous in there. What? You didn't look it. Years of practice. But you really put me at ease, it made me feel like I belonged there. So I just wanted to say thank you. Wow, I was not ready for this level of emotion today, but uh, let's go in before the sentimental music creeps in and I start to cry. Oh, okay, I'm ready. They walk through to the studio and the troupe are running through choreography to music. Right, first up you got Deej, scrappy shit dancer, but we love them because they bring in all the gigs. Rude. And... Uh, uh, oh, and they're the boss. No, I'm boss. I'm not the boss. Okay, well then, the boss is Charlie. And as I said, not easy to please. I should know. I have to live with her. How hard is it to not walk up the stairs in your shoes? Just take them off at the door. Were you born in a barn? Yes, Charlie. I'm a barn animal wearing shoes. Then you've got Jolene, that's Deej's best mate from childhood, guaranteed to turn up late, and she's only in the troop because her two kids need keeping in the latest designer gear. <laughs> I gave you a bravery pull today. Just kidding. She's also a dance photographer, so I suppose she's pretty handy to have around. It's not like any of us are getting rich off swing dancing. Yet. I swear to God, you're off my Christmas card this... You're off my Christmas card list this year. <laughs> Then finally, you've got Daphne, our poster girl for all things vintage. She works in a shoe shop, a.k.a. our backup studio when we can't afford this place. A.k.a. Violet's walk-in shoe wardrobe that she likes to visit and borrow from on a daily basis. Well, I wouldn't have to borrow them if you just gave me a discount. If she ever gives you a discount, Jodie, take it instantly. In my experience, the offer expires before it even leaves her lips. You're treading mud all over my good name there, Violet. Better your name than my stairs. All right, all right, tour's over. I can't remember choreography with all this chatter going on. You can't remember it anyway. Eh, Deej? 
sorry, mate. I love you, really. Maybe just go over that routine, though, yeah? I'll take you down. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Jolene jumps on Deej. They all join in. First Daphne, then Charlie, then Jodie and Violet, screaming and laughing. Right! Get back to work, you lot. This Savoy Cup routine is not going to rehearse itself. We need to win. They all get to their feet, giggling. Come on, five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Jody stands by, pleased at what she is joining. played as an interaction with the musicians and the dancers. Improvise. Go on. Just make it up, right? First, context. There is no improvisation without context. The jazz we hear and dance has flowed through years of African-American racism and oppression to land on our lips and hips today. Know that each melody, rhythm and movement was an act of defiance and that everything you improvise has context. Okay, so how to start? Well, with an idea. Let's say the idea is this. And we have this melody and this groove. Feel it. The story of the beat. Then the question is, where shall we go? Listen. Body. Try something. If it's nice, do it twice. Try a call and a response. A call and a response. And tie it off with a break. The send out. Just what it sounds like. Start with your partner in clothes, rock, and send them away from you. Find yourselves apart, but face to face. You are still connected, however now you can keep each other at arm's length. We see a montage of the troupe repeatedly performing a routine. The dancers get more disenchanted with the choreography. They become less nuanced, more jazz hands. The costumes get skimpier and they keep being asked to serve drinks and look sexy. Violet walks out during this sequence. In the next scene, we watch the relationships start to break down because of the corporate pressure and the group tension. Jodie, Daphne, Deej and Charlie are in the rehearsal room, quietly getting ready and stretching. The atmosphere is tense. We have a lot to get through for the gig tomorrow. Let's warm up. And it's a good opportunity for you to get used to the new track. It's fast and a few things that we need to rejig. 
Um, sorry team, they didn't want the live band. And um, they wanted a sound that's a bit more like... Oh, here we go again. I know, I know, okay, but it's what they've asked for. Electro swing music plays as Jody, Daphne, Deej and Charlie stretch and warm up. Jolie walks in late. Jolene walks in late. Oh, I'm so sorry I'm late, everyone. I had to pick the kids up from school and then the babysitter was late and then I couldn't get the bus. Just drop so. your stuff. We've got a lot of lot to do for the new routine on Saturday. No, what weren't we just gonna use the same routine, the one that we were doing for Savoy Cup? Does this sound like the track for Savoy Cup? No, well anyway, you missed me explaining it, so just I don't have time to go through it, okay? Jolene rushes to join the others, clearly flustered. Charlie and Deej stop running and get into a discussion between themselves over the music. The others don't hear them over the music. Where's Violet? She's not coming. What do you mean she's not coming? Oh, this is so like Violet. What about Saturday? She's left the group, but we've made five work before. I'll fix it. I'll make it work. What? Did she say why? There's no time to replace her. This is ridiculous. Charlie avoids looking Deej in the eyes. It's not my business. Yeah, pick her side, of course. Coward. You're the one who bullies us into this polyester nightmare. Higher the fee, cheaper the look. I go with what the client wants and I don't see you bringing in any gigs. You don't even need the money, who are you to talk? I don't let other people tell me what to wear. Spoiled brat. Cheapskate. Princess. The music stops suddenly and the crew stop and look at Jar Charlie and Deej. Well, you're a shit dancer who's lazy with their rhythm and can't turn to save her life and- Stunned silence as Charlie realizes everyone is listening. Jody tries to deflect attention from a visibly embarrassed Deej and Charlie. Uh, where's Violet? Violet's left the group. What do you mean she's left the group? Let's start the routine from the last section. Um, Savoy Cup contest fees are due on Monday and we need the money from this gig, so no more discussions. Ready, Anne? Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, swing out, swing out, swing out, skip up, tuck, turn, pass by, circle, break. Jolene, what's wrong? Did you forget the section? Jolene is stood with no partner. No, nothing. Let's go again. Deej and Charlie avoid each other's looks. Let's go from the tuck turn. Ready? Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Tuck turn, pass by, circle, break. It would help if she had a partner. Why aren't we doing the Savoy Cup choreo? This is pointless. You can barrel roll without a partner, right, Jolene? No, can you? Again, five, six, Five, six, seven, eight, tuck, turn, pass by, circle. I have break. an idea that might work. Into a cartwheel over the legs. What? <laughs> you kidding? This is ridiculous. Since when was this in the choreography? Since the client said so. What, for it to look more like a routine on Strictly? I'm not even dancing with a partner. I think you've had balls dancing to what Gangnam style counts. I don't think this really matters for a strictly style Lindy routine anyway. You can't change the choreography like this now. I thought maybe we could do a basic Charleston into this thing. Daphne demonstrates a move. Everyone just walk where you normally go for the triangle section, but with purpose. Everyone moves to new formation in a triangle with Jody at the front and Daphne in the back corner. Jody, because you finish in the middle, maybe you could do that last move as you come forward. Like this? Jody tries Daphne's move. Yeah, that looks great. Keep that in. Daphne looks dejected in her new position in the back corner. Right, let's keep going then. No wonder Violet left. No, look, let's take a break. And look, please, can we avoid any drama? But this is what we're wearing. Deej hands out very small, sparkly costumes and heeled Latin shoes. There's a stunned silence. <laughs> we can't dance in this. This is what the client asked for. Then say no. And lose the work. Unbelievable. J 
Jolene starts to leave the room. Where are you going? To change. Jolene leaves. Daphne and Jodie look at each other stunned. We can see that the group is breaking under the pressure. The following dance sequence is a physical representation of the group's fractures and how they are starting to feel isolated. Time has passed and now things have reached breaking point. Despite selling their souls, the group haven't raised the funds to attend the Savoy Cup contest yet. Deej has tried to compromise with bookers to fight for fairer costumery, less standing around being eye candy and more dancing, and has lost gigs because of it. No one wants to book an all women Lindy Hop troupe, and they are taking their anger out on each other. They decide to call it a day. The swing out. Sink, direct, swivel, be ready to move. Rock, step, triple step, 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 triple step. One hand, two hands, almost flying apart. Sink, direct, swivel, be ready to move. Rock, step, triple step, 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 triple step. One hand, two hands, a rare moment of unison. Where we cling to each other for hope. Anytime you touch somebody's body, it's a negotiation. At its best, you move together. The music, the invisible accord between you. At its worst, a fight for control, a clash of ideas, a hand offered, unmet. A dance with a friend is a joke shared between equals, daring one another with each witty comeback. A dance with a stranger can be a roller coaster. Exhilarating, unexpected, sometimes mildly terrifying. A dance, like in the old movies, is a transaction. The lead makes the decisions, the follow embellishes their will. But social dance is like a box of chocolates. You never know which one you're going to get. Call and response, give and take, dancer and danced. I feel the music. I move myself. He shoots me a glance. Can you just follow? Time passes. We see snippets of what they're up to. They're pretty much all alone and a bit unhappy. Through complete chance, they all find themselves at a social dance with a live band. Violet is in the band. The energy picks up and they have a vibrant jam with the musicians. They exchange a look and Violet shouts her bland to play their track. They perform the routine as they have always wanted to, in their own way. The crowd go wild.
As a company, we haven't finished developing the ending. It's hard to wrestle between fairy tales and harsh realities. Perhaps we see a glimmer of hope for the truth to get back together. Or not, we'll let you know. The original music for the show is composed by Daisy and Tom of 222 Music. What you have heard today was recorded by 18 Women in Jazz in 2019. Going forward, we'll be working with a live combo embedded into the storytelling, headed up by musical director and tap dancer, Annette Walker. Here is a snippet from the recording of the score. <laughs> Thanks so much, everyone.